Right, here's a quick run through of my wire blueprints uh, in the hope that they are useful to you. They basically replicate some of the properties of the cable actors, uh, but using static meshes, spline meshes to be precise, um, which are entirely static, don't have any physics, and can also be merged into single meshes and optimised in other ways. Um, so I've used sort of placeholder meshes and materials just for this demonstration and if I'm sending you the files also in those files. So let's begin. Uh, first thing is there's a wire component. This is something you can drop into any blueprint and it will produce a wire of this type. If you specify the start and the end you also have to just fill in properties like the material, the width um, and so on. Uh, it may or may not default to sensible defaults at the moment. I'll try and make it so it does if I haven't already. Um, and here's a generic wire. This is the simplest thing that uses that wire component. Just drag it off, whoops, and you've got the position where it starts and you've got a draggable end. So you just click the end, drag it around, uh, and the wire keeps its shape pretty well. If you go up and if you go down, it just kind of works. Um, and the mechanism is just two spline meshes, uh, one to there and one to there. Now, the biggest downside of this approach is that for some reason I haven't done it quite right and it gets a little bit bugged in the middle of the wire. The lighting is not right. This might be my meshes are wrong. So you can see it there. There's a discontinuity there where there's something going wrong with the tangents um, the way I've done it. So I don't know quite what's causing that. Hopefully it can be fixed. But I haven't yet got a fix. If you have wires using dark material or black you basically can't see it very much. Um, and if it's not shiny probably it's easier not to see it. But the black wires it's pretty much invisible. Uh, anyway, I digress. So here is the generic wire. Uh, you can move around the end. You can rotate the origin of it around the z-axis, but I've disabled rotation in other axes because that'll ruin the shape of the wire and lead to nonsensical wire shapes. Uh, that just seems sensible to me. Uh, and you can set the maximum z-dip is how far it dips down in the middle. There is a formula that's not quite correct, which changes the dip depending on how large the wire is, but beyond a certain point you hit that maximum. Uh, so this is relevant for low tensions. Moving on, tension. Uh, arbitrary number, you can see the effect of increasing it, and if you go very low you get very blocky wires. By default there are 20 segments in each wire, that's kind of arbitrary. Uh, sometimes there's odd effects at the end. Uh, that's not ideal. You'll get that more at extreme dips. Um, so when you've got a very big dip or a very large length of wire, um, you can up from the 10 segments per spline to 20, for example, and you get a smoother result. And it's possible to have more segments or fewer segments, uh, depending on your performance, that you want. But that's pretty good, except up very close. Um, but normally you shouldn't need to use the high resolution length of wire. Uh, width is self-explanatory and um, material mesh. So that's basically it and that's fairly handy. You can put that in other blueprints. Um, if you're using the wire component you have to take control of creating the spline meshes but if you look at how I've done it in the generic wire you'll see what you need to put in there. Um, in the other blueprints there's some quite convoluted stuff to update the data and update the cables. That's because the way I've done it is not an ideal way in terms of the data, but it's practical and it kind of works otherwise. So the next blueprint is the telegraph pole. I'll just wang one over there. And um, don't worry about how it appears when you first put it on. Um, and you just copy and paste if you want. You can uh, move up and down in and out and to wire them together you select one, seven and then in the next pole you just put the next one in the line and you'll see that's changed the meshes and I did do this automatically but it caused problems depending on which way you were going to wire it up so you have to manually flip the scale in the x-axis in the way I've done it and then everything else works so that's created a sensible length of telegraph cable. Let's say I want to add the next one in, pole 9, 
Now that's not quite right is it? So sometimes you have to manually update it. Update all cables will also update the static meshes so that's become an intermediate piece and that's the end piece now uh, and similarly if you move that up it partially updates but to make it work properly just update all cables. Um, you can determine easily whether the wires are there or not and tension can be set per wire and the width per wire uh, obviously some settings will not make sense visually uh, and the material can be set per uh, per length so well take my word for that you can set the end mesh and the mid meshes um, I've got basically placeholders there this first pole thing you can override it but um, that's set automatically or rather I should say it's unset automatically when you link to a pole um, and the Z dip is again how uh, far down it will go if you set the tension to something very low which isn't advisable but it's possible um, this doesn't have a separate mesh setting per wire um, but you should be able to set them all to be the same but more high resolution like that for each for an individual length for example um, and there is another thing which is um, I'll start on this one sort of attachments to the mesh so for example if you wanted to go down to a junction box there's a relatively easy way to do that you just create a new uh, item there's a pre-filled one with another placeholder and that just puts a wire going down there for some reason I haven't got the gap right um, again it attaches a socket there's a socket there or you could if it was for example a wire looping back you could attach it to socket E if it was looping there that's put it back where it was oh that's reset to nothing so socket base wall I think it was um, now let's say you've positioned it differently the Y offset gives you a quick way to just bring things back to the surface where they need to be um, though yeah I've now realized a flaw in that plan it needs to have an X off offset too so I'll add that in um, the scale fairly self-explanatory um, and rotation usefully 90 degrees or 180 or 270 if your mesh is set up a different way a different orientation and that's basically that and to go with that um, blueprint you've got a connector where for example stick it on that wall and you then you can control the Z dip again um, set the different kind of mesh um, create a new array set the pole and there's your wire and you can specify the socket it connects to E at the bottom A at the top set the material and mesh per wire and you want to add another one that's easy let's go to that one and there you go and then you can just move that around and it'll update as you do that if you move the thing they're attached to it won't update but again update all cables and there you go um, you can just copy and paste it and it'll keep all that data which you can then tweak maybe it goes somewhere else that's probably not the ideal choice um, yeah and change the tension and the dip accordingly um, and that's basically it so I hope that's useful I may improve that hopefully well it can be improved for sure um, but that's a basic sort of wire blueprint setup now for optimizing uh, what you shouldn't do is convert actors to static mesh because that doesn't include the spline meshes however if you were to select everything you wanted to be in the same mesh you go to window developer tools merge actors Woo. and you merge actors stick it anywhere it should capture all of the detail so let me just bring this across this is a single mesh 
um, yeah, quite big. But um, that's, well, not one draw call, and in fact, six times whatever. But that's pretty optimised um, if you want all that detail in the same place. So that should render a lot more nicely than a bunch of cable actors. Okay, there we go. Have fun.